here. Welcome Morning. to the show. Uh, this is episode eight. I'm Maddie. Can you believe it? Hello, I'm Greg. And all together, we are live. live. Yes, um, we are. You can join us live every Monday to Friday here in our spare room at 11 o'clock a.m. We've got games. We've got experiments. We've got makes. We've yes. got guests. We've got the lot. So thank you so much for coming and joining us. And some of you are already in the live chat. So let's say hello to a couple of people who are here nice and early. Uh, uh, we've we got, got Erin from Southampton. Hello, Erin. And uh, we've got Abby and Grace. Hi, Abby and Grace. Hello thank you. Hello to Wigmore Primary School in Luton as well. Loads of messages coming in. Um, yeah. Please do, yeah, come and say hi in the live chat. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, if you check out the uh, description box below this video, then you will find a whole bunch of online resources that we've used to make this video, some links that you can go to, some extra little videos you might want to watch, and even things you might need for some of the activities. We are halfway through Brilliant Bodies Week. Today mm -hmm. is Wednesday. Today's yeah. theme is body moving. Uh, and coming up on today's show, we have what I think is our funniest video <laughs> so far. It's hilarious. Uh, we've set up a garden gym and you're going to meet a very special guest trainer yep. putting me through a workout. Yep, you will. Um, I am going to be doing a bit of exercise later on as well, but we'll be at looking what happens to my body with a thermal imaging camera. Yeah, looking forward to that one. Yeah. Um, and also we're going to be using one of these as well. Ooh. We've got a few little bits of tech. Yeah. Do get in touch though, because we have always got the emails open for you as well. Here they are. This is our email address. We we got thousands just yesterday, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did, so, yeah. And we want to know about your brilliant bodies. What do you need to put in the subject? They have to put, look what I can do. Uh, that just really helps us to uh, find the different emails and make sure you're getting a grown up to email us. So, on with the show. Um, mm -hmm. Maddie, I actually think we should start with a quiz. Of course, we should start with a quiz. And you are very appropriately dressed for this. Here we go. <laughs> I hope it's now a tradition that you dance along. I we, really we've been hope sent so. Gifts of people doing that, tagged in so many people doing that. Does Do that want... count as exercise, by the way? Oh, I mean, it almost counts as a we, warm up. We barely dance. It almost counts as a warm up. All right. Um, then. So, on with the quiz, and I've got mm -hmm. a quick question to start us off. Okay. Um, Maddie, what do we find beneath our skin? Muscles. Beneath them. Organs. Beneath them. More muscles. Beneath them. Clue. It's what helps you keep your body up. Your skeleton! Bones! Yes, bones, <laughs> exactly. Um, here's a cool fact for you. Dropping the fact bomb early. Uh, so babies are actually born with over 300 bones. Right. But us adults have 206 bones. That's because some of the baby's bones, especially in their skull, yeah. fuse together. Oh, that is so interesting. Oh, cool I is love that, that fact. Um, there's actually a type of special camera that can take pictures of our bones. Uh, you might already know what it's called. Shout it out if you know what this, this camera is called. Yeah, it's an x-ray machine. Yeah. Mm. So today's quiz, we want to show you a load of x-ray photos. Right. And your job is to guess what it is. We just okay. want to yell it out wherever you're watching this. Yell out what you think this is. What so, part of the body you think this is of, yeah. right? Okay. Are you ready for number one? Here it is. I'm ready. Oh, okay. Um, That looks like a, a kind of claw. I would say a hand, but I can't see any thumb. So I'm going to say that is a foot, sir. Greg Foot. Correct. <laughs> that is correct. Um, let's see. Oh, look, I can actually put us here. That's okay. cool, isn't it? All Hi. right. So, number two coming up. Yes. What's this one? Ooh, okay. So, we're actually seeing quite a few different bones here. Um, that's uh, our body, so you can see our rib cage. But up in the corner, that is our shoulder. That is our shoulder. Yes. Yes. Got okay. It. Here is the next one. What's that? Okay, do not think. so that one is absolutely a hand. And actually, if you get your hand now and gently sort of like feel and press around your skin, then you can, you can actually feel all of those tiny little bones that, that so make cool. up your hand. That is super, super Our cool. hands are really incredible. Okay, uh, next one. Mm -hmm. What is this one when it comes up? Oh. Ah, all right. So that mm. is an arm yep. but you might notice that there's something going on in this picture and that is that the bones are broken so is that the hand at the bottom here so i actually yes. think that's the forearm so that is the oldest so you've got two bones in your forearm the ulna and the radius and i actually broke my arm when i was younger and mm. i've still got a pretty gnarly scar that i don't think you'll be able to no. see <laughs> okay uh here's one more for you what um, is oh, all right then here we go what do you reckon that one is those are, are 
Novellini. Can you shake your Novellini together? Shake your Novellini. Um, interesting fact. Interesting fact. So, um, our kneecaps when we're older, they are hard bone, but babies don't have hard kneecaps. Instead, uh, they start off as cartilage, which Ooh, is the same. That's what our ears. Yeah. And our noses are made of. Yeah, absolutely. Cartilage. Sort of soft and bendy. Oh, okay, I've right. got one last one for you. Where in your body would you find this? Hmm. That's sir. Uh, <laughs> it's not. I no. See what you've done here. I see what you've done here. It's April Fool's. It's first of April. Nice. That's but actually just a fish. It's pretty awesome, though, to see the skeleton of another animal as well. So I do like that. Nice. Right. Very okay, nice. good. So that was the quiz. Oh, hang on. We always do a quiz. We always dance out the quiz as well. I'm going to start dancing quiz, anyway. Oh. Enough, enough of that. <laughs> um, so our bodies really, really are brilliant, aren't they? Now, parts of our skeleton, such as our rib cage and our skull, uh, they work like um, a suit of armour, protecting all of the squishy organs that are inside. Mm. Um, but the rest of our skeleton sort of acts like scaffolding, and it holds us up and also helps us move around. Yeah, so we have muscles attached to that skeleton, mm. uh, normally in pairs, and what those muscles do is they, uh, they, they squeeze and they release. So they squeeze and they release, squeeze and release. As I say, it's kind of a pair and they help you move those bones around. But yes, I'm so excited so about this. I actually thought we could learn um, about some of our different muscles. Um, and to do that, I put Greg through a bit of a workout and we're calling this the garden gym. And uh, yesterday, Greg met a very dear friend of mine. <laughs> Yo, 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 I'm Maddie Motivator and welcome to my garden gym. My challenger for today is the one and only Greg Fast Feet Foot. Greg is limbering up right now, making sure his muscles are feeling nice and stretched. Uh, for garden gym today, we have five stations and each station is going to work a different muscle group. But Greg Fast Feet Foot has to do 20 exercises at each station. Will he manage it? Who knows? Let's find out. Greg, are you ready? I'm so ready. You will go on my only whistle. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Okay, so first up, Greg Foot is going to be doing some oh. log lunges. There you go. He's doing 20 of each, remember? Oh. Now, right now, Greg is working his legs and his bum. He's going to really feel it in his, in his quads. Those are the muscles at the front of his legs, his hamstrings, the muscles at the backs of his legs, and in his glutes. Those are your bum muscles. How are you feeling, Greg? 16. Keep going. Let's it. Let's work those hamstrings, those quads, and those glutes. Done. Are you done? Right, okay. Move on now over here to, we call these compost dips. And right now, Greg is working his arms. He's working the muscles on the backs of his arms, and we call these the triceps. So how are you doing there with your compost dips? Oh, these are hard. <laughs> You've got to do 20 of these. You can do it. Come on, man. 11, 12. 13, that's it. There are only little muscles, these ones. <laughs> Look at them, there he is, working the backs of those arms, Sorry. his triceps. Nice one, Greg. Are you finished? 20, yeah. <gasps> okay, moving on to working the next part of our arms. Hang on, sun's out, gun's out. <laughs> okay, so we call these the roller skate curls. This time, Greg is uh, working the muscles on the top part of his arms. Here they go. What do we call these muscles? Which way's the beach? Biceps. These are the biceps. How are your biceps feeling, Ten. Greg? 11. How are they feeling? Oh, they're surprisingly happy. That's it. Keep pumping those roller skates. You can do it. <laughs> 20 of each, remember? <laughs> 20, 20, done. Okay, now we're going to move on to something I call the plant pot twist. It's a Maddie motivated patented move here. Greg is lying down and he's supporting his body with his core, his tummy muscles. We call these the abdominals. You might know them as abs. If you've ever had a six pack, that's your abs. How are these feeling? These are good. Yeah, keep going. Faster, faster. There we go. He's only got to do 20 of each. I think oh, I he's 20, done it. Like pairs. Oh, come on. 40 come plus. on. Okay. Uh, final thing, now this move is called the spade squat and it's working all of the muscle groups. As he squats down like this, Greg is working his quads, his hamstrings, the muscles in his legs. He's working his glutes, that's his bum muscles. He's supporting his body with his abs and his core and he's working both his triceps and his biceps in his arms. Are you done? Three left. Come on, Two. come on. Oh, 
Yeah. And he's done it. Challenger. Are you happy? Good workout, Maddie Moe. Come on. Cross the washing line, cross the oh. washing line. That marks the finish. Oh. And here I've even Look got a medal feel. for you. Yes. Just up in my head. How do you feel? I feel, I feel good. Yeah. I feel a bit sweaty. And cool. uh, my heart's going. Hang on. And I'm. Um, That's really interesting. You should tell oh. us more about that. Oh. Back to the studio to you, Greg and Maddie. <laughs> Here's my medal. Oh yeah. Well done, well done. And a massive thank you to Maddie, Maddie Motivator. Motivator. Yeah. And if you wanted to do something like that, you absolutely don't need a garden. You could set up your own circuit course at home, uh, in the lounge maybe. Uh, just be careful that if you are lifting anything, that it's not too heavy and that you're always bending your knees first. Yeah, so uh, I mentioned that my heart was beating faster. So let's have a look at what the heart is and what the heart does. Now, for this, I'm going to need someone to do some exercise in the studio. Uh, I wonder who I could ask. I knew no, this is this is payback. This is fair. This, this is payback is time. Um, now, before okay. you do any exercise, um, just <sighs> pop that on your finger. Got it. So this is a little gadget that's going to tell us Maddie's heart rate. So how fast her heart is beating, mm -hmm. how many times it beats every minute. Now, right now you're kind of reasonably relaxed, although yeah, we're yeah. live to mm -hmm. six and a half thousand people. Um, <laughs> I know. I say it might be a little bit stressed. <laughs> it might be a little bit higher than normal. But if we were to listen to her heart rate. This is what it would sound like. Oh, so it's sort of like a gentle lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. Yeah, exactly. So, do we have a number? We do. We Whoa. do. But it's already really high. It's already really Partly high. Because we're doing a live show on the okay. internet. What is it normally when you're? So, at yeah, rest? let's start. So, I would say when we've done this before, and usually my heart rate is about seventy nine eighty. Yeah, so yeah. when we did the rehearsal, yeah. so our resting would be between 60 and 80. A little bit excited in rehearsal, <laughs> just a little bit higher than that. Okay, so that's how many times your heart is beating every minute. Mm -hmm. So um, what I'm also going to do, actually, is I want to look at um, your temperature. Ah, okay, so this is, of course, one of my favourite things. Greg is using a thermal imaging camera. And a thermal imaging camera, uh, it shows us how hot and cold things are using colour. So uh, warm, hot things, will often look yellow. Hi, oh. That's our ironing oh, board. That's our ironing board. It is a spare room, everybody. Um, so yeah, hot things will often look yellow, red, or even white. Ah. So if you can see there, look where I'm really, really warm. And then cooler things will look blue and purple. So your face is about... 35 degrees. Okay, all right. Right now, degrees C. So we're going to have a come back and have a look at that again in a minute. Right. All right. So now I need to start doing some exercise. Up your jump. <laughs> Do some exercise. No specific workout like Maddie Motivator gave me. I'm just looking for squats, uh, some lunges, some curls, just something so we can get you doing some exercise. Not yet. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. Okay. Hang on. In order for you to do that, give me some music. Uh, in order for you to do that, here we go. Feeling it. Okay, all right then. Okay, so you get to do some work. Now, I want you lot to predict and write in the live chat what you think is gonna happen to Maddie's heart rate and to Maddie's temperature, because that's what we wanna focus on. So, let's have a look first at her heart. If I asked you to draw a picture of a heart, this is probably what you would draw. Now, that's cool, but actually a heart looks more like this. So that is what a heart looks like. And if you're wondering what size a heart is, if you make a fist with your hand, that is about the size of your heart. So everyone do that. And then what I want you to do is I want you to squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. And that is exactly what your heart is doing. It's squeezing and releasing to pump blood around your body. And um, let's find out what Maddie's heart rate is right now. Okay, it's up to 105. Wow, so it's jumped from her normal resting of 60 to 80 to 105. Good, okay, so she's doing some work. So if we were to listen to her heart rate, it would actually listen, it would sound more like this now. Have a listen. Much I can't faster. hear that, but it's definitely much, sort of like a faster, faster beat. Oi, you, he's Wait. working out. Sorry. Give you some more music to work out to. So why is your heart pumping fast? So on Monday, we talked about digestion and we talked about how digestion breaks the food that you eat down into fuel. 
into simple sugars. And then that goes into the blood. Well, it's your heart's job to pump that blood around your body so that that fuel gets to your muscles. So right now, Maddie is doing exercise. She needs more fuel to get to her muscles. So her heart is beating faster to get more of that fuel, more of that sugar to her muscles to make energy. Uh, okay, you can stop. You can stop. <laughs> Let's stop you, let's stop you, stop okay. you. Uh, what is your heart rate? Well, right now, I'm just going to try and wait for this. Okay. I'm really out of breath. Let's have a look at your, Hang on. Um, let's have a look at your temperature okay. while we're there. So okay, let's go, right to the, uh, let's go to the camera. Oh. Uh, and let me put that on your face. Whoa, you are absolutely glowing. Okay, am I, does it say that I'm warmer? Okay, so your, your face has gone up by about one degree. Okay. Uh, but your so chest and your neck, whoa, that's much warmer. That's now about 36, 37 wow. degrees Wow. C. And the reason that you've got so much warmer is because your body, your muscles are working hard. They're using that fuel to make <laughs> energy. Do we have a number? We do, we have a number. It has settled on... Wow. 155. 155 beats per minute. Is that so, accurate? Yeah, that so like a lot. You have been you have been working hard, Mads. Good job. <laughs> I'm actually gonna zoom us in a little bit now. Okay. Um how else are you feeling? Yell out kind of how um, else you're feeling so throughout I would all this. Say right now I am if you can hear me. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling out of breath. <laughs> out of breath because mm -hmm. not only is your heart working hard but also your lungs are working hard do you yes. think you can use those lungs to tell us about lungs yeah definitely okay. um, actually if everybody puts their hands on their chest right now that's it join me gently now take a big breath in and a big breath out so you should be able to feel your chest moving up and down yeah. and that is your lungs they are filling with air and then they are releasing air that's what you can feel yeah. uh, now each of us we have two lungs um and sort of like the, our lungs they're full of tubes a little bit like branches on the end of the tree mm. but actually i think they look a bit more like broccoli if you can imagine <laughs> <laughs> so there's a long pipe here which we call the trachea and the air we breathe, it goes down the trachea, and then eventually it will go to the little tr to the little tubes, and then the bunches yeah. that we see on the end. So that air that you talk about us breathing in, mm -hmm. there's something really important in that air that's called oxygen. And we've talked about your uh, your muscles needing fuel to create energy. Yeah. But they don't need just fuel; they also need oxygen. Ah, so your okay. lungs are amazing. They, uh, your lungs get the oxygen into your blood, and your heart pumps the oxygen and the fuel to your muscles. Okay, so our bodies need two things to make energy. They need fuel and they need oxygen. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, you can all get your uh, your bodies moving at home too, uh, but don't worry if you don't have one of these, we call it a pulse oximeter. No. You can always just gently take your fingers and then just hold them to your wrist and you might be able to feel your pulse, feel that lub dub lub dub of your blood pumping through but oliver and luke they got in touch because their mummy showed them a trick using some blue tack and a paper straw and this trick let them see a pulse in action this is super cool hello maddie look at mummy's hand it's her pulse her pulse is her heartbeat Wow! How clever is that? Can you see that? The straw is almost, it's sort of making a TikTok see motion. Can, see if I can play it again. There you go. Okay. Look at that. You see it moving? Yeah, it's what sort of like... a little setup. It's like a little seesaw sort of going bing, 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 bing. And that is the blood pumping through. So maybe that's something that you could try at home. Yeah, so let's have a think. So you could set up a garden gym or yeah. you can set up a gym in your lounge. Absolutely. With just cushions that you've got lying around <laughs> and take your pulse before huh? you do it using your fingers or by making that amazing thing that we just saw there. Mm -hmm. And then do the exercise and yeah. then have a look at your pulse again yeah. afterwards and see how much faster... It's yeah, gone. It's a really and good also idea. think about your lungs, how much faster you're breathing yeah, at the same definitely. time. And we should do the selfie. What I love are the number of you that jump in the live chat and just go, selfie! <laughs> because you know that we're likely to forget. Um, um, why don't we, we do why don't we use the thermal imaging camera today? Because that's a giggle. Ooh, nice idea. Okay, okay, so let's get right. the thermal imaging camera. So this back is the way up. this works. Um, put one of you in front of the telly or yourself and take a picture or a selfie. <laughs> oh, so I'm full screen. Wow. Are, okay. Oh, yeah. No, I think screen? that's fun. That's cool. Okay, I can do it. Well, no, that's kind of cool. It's kind of funny. Okay, so okay. I'm going to do this. You ready? Uh, there she is. Three, Three. two, one. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> 
all good. Always all good. Okay, nice. Did you get the selfie? <laughs> good. Um, uh, so before we come to the end of the show, there is just enough time to go through all of the brilliant photos that you have been sending in. Um, and we've been asking you to show us what brilliant things you can do with your bodies. Uh, there are lots of gymnasts amongst you and you're all very stretchy, including... Lacey and here is Lacey she is practicing her crab position some of you call this the table some of you call it the crab but I certainly couldn't do it <laughs> <laughs> um, this next one this is Jisoo doing another type of back bend so yeah you lot are uh, you are into your positions it's yeah cool. um, uh, third one look at this so both Caleb and Will can put out their tongue and make it touch their nose Will's go- oh Greg Oh, Greg, no one needs to see it. that. Can you no not? No one needs to see that. Can That's... they do it at home? Can you, can you lot do it? Can you do it? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is amazing. And a little bit gross. This is a picture of Fraser and his brilliant body is healing itself after breaking a bone last Saturday. So we hope you get better and strong soon, Fraser. Yeah. Uh, this is James and Isaac. Now, James and Isaac, they have a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And it's a connective tissue disorder. Mm. Connective tissue is the stuff that holds the other parts of your body together. But it means that they're really bendy and can do all sorts of things with their body. Nice one. Uh, this is Pops showing <laughs> off her acrobatic skills. Uh, and what I love about this is that pet chicken that you'll see as soon as I move the screen. That pet chicken is called Boris. <laughs> there it is. Love that. Uh, here we have Dexter. Very much looks like he's doing some karate there. And he's he's got an orange belt. Nice one. Nice. Dexter. Nice yeah. one. <laughs> uh, cool. And last but not least, this is Paige. Uh, Paige has spina bifida and she uses this. This is her K walker to help her walk. So this is a, oh, a very cool. useful bit of tech that Paige is using. Yeah. Uh, and she loves to show him what's a big hello. Hello, oh, Paige. Hello, Paige. Hi. Oh, it's so nice. We really do love getting all of your photos. So thank you very yeah, much. Thousands and thousands of them getting in. Keep them coming. If you want to email us, this is the email address here. Mm -hmm. Just get a grown up to send in an email with the subject heading. Look what I can do. Or if you've been doing any digestive daves, you've been doing any memory tests, perhaps you're going to have a go at seeing your heartbeat or doing a garden gym. We love to get those photos too. Yeah, and please do keep sharing all this mm -hmm. on Twitter and Instagram. These are our handles. Maddie Moat, Greg Foot, use the hashtag, get in touch. We do love seeing them. We are flat out making this show <laughs> every day, but we make sure we jump on and see all those things. Uh, we will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Yes, we will. What are we doing tomorrow, Mads? Uh, tomorrow, we're going, to be, we're going to be talking about the immune system. So that's uh, that's the, the parts of our body that help us fight off uh, germs and also uh, keep us healthy. And we've got a fun make that you can try mm -hmm. at home uh, yeah. afterwards. So yes, if you haven't yet subscribed, click that subscribe button below. Do get in touch with us as well. We will see you tomorrow at 11. As always, stay curious. Bye. Bye. Bye.